What's cracking, people? It's your man, Cousin T, aka the Alpha Wingman, representing high level technicians operating globally and beyond. So, listen, today uh, I'm going to go into the second part of the five part series covering the Octane model and observations of the Octane models from the perspective of the select manosphere. And today we're going to cover the 100 octane. Now, again, the octane series or the octane model is based upon um, the model designed by master teacher BGS Igmore. And so with that formatting, uh, I put together this particular framework and breakdown, um, which makes it easier for me to explain from my perspective. Okay. So today's case study, we're going to observe Jasma Kendrick. And just to go over her stats, um, her world is that of the model slash hostess. Um, she identifies as female. Her height is 5'10". Weight is 119. Clearly, octane grade is 100. Now, going to the SMV range for a 100 octane, that range is very narrow. And that goes from a 9 to a 10. Very slim margins uh, within that SMV range. The identifiers are as follows. Age range is usually from 17 to 25. They have model features. And what that means is they, are, they have youth, beauty, and innocence projected. And those are the most desirable indicators of fitness. Uh, on a biological uh, level. So that cuts across all, you know, statuses, um, ethnic backgrounds and cultures. There is a universal attractiveness uh, associated with youth, beauty and innocence. Finally, they have a halo uh, effect um, cause to their beauty. That's how you no. If you have any questions about what true beauty is, if a person has the ability to cause the halo effect, which is basically uh, just upon seeing them, you automatically associate them with an angelic presence or uh, innocence, or you automatically associate uh, honesty with them, virtue with them, just by seeing seeing them. So that's more or less what the halo effect is. And if you you know anybody had a question as to, oh, okay, so what's the standard? What? How do you how do you measure beauty or whatever? If you are in the presence of a woman and you immediately want to throw your coat down or you know give her uh, you know cab fare if she's a damsel in distress or whatever. If, the, if you're drawn to this person, that's the halo effect. Um, an alternative on the man's side, that would be the equivalent of an alpha showpiece. Even though, you know, the, out, the, the alpha showpiece Holy Ghost does not even compare to the level of uh, the halo effect caused by a 100 octane. Now, that's another podcast for another day, but if we just wanted to make a quick comparison, that would be it. Moving on, the 100 octane's environment of operation, uh, basically, you know, the party atmosphere. These are your hostesses. These are your, and, I'm, and I mean like TV show hostess, um, you know, engagement hostesses, uh, but typically your party hosts, your high-end party hosts, hostess uh, and your presenters also, your bottle models, which are you know the VIP uh, young ladies, uh, shot ladies at these you know high-end bars or clubs or events. Their um, other environments of operations are pro sports areas because they tend to be uh, an intersection of you know higher status males, and that's pretty much the the focal point of where the 100 octane uh, environment of influence, you know, tends to be concentrated, where there are high value men, the movers and shakers, the masters of the universe, and that typically 
tends to be in the environment of pro sports. That being said, uh, the follow-up to that regarding their environment of operation, you can sum it up by saying they're constantly around new money and old money. Now, that break that breakdown can take you know a couple hours depending on uh, what you really want to get into as far as the details of the type of men and the level of men that pass around the 100 octane women and what that means on the 100 octane uh, their their path or their journey of development because like i said it really starts um at around age 17 when you know a prospective model agency scouts uh you know a young woman and i'm and i'm being and i'm being very generous by uh saying 17 as a starting point because you know those who know understand that the major fashion houses depending on if you're talking about print uh model or runway model or even couture they start scouting as early as 10 11 12 13 14 15 and 16. so uh, a 100 octane can be prospectively groomed from childhood uh, in the manner and in the spaces of the high-end lifestyle. So just keep that in mind, all right? Moving on to their skill sets, which is which is interesting. I, I had someone ask me about the previous video and why I included skill sets uh, with my description of the Octane. And, and the simple answer is when we talk about the conversations that we have within the select manosphere, we don't necessarily just focus on the flaws of women we don't focus on uh, specifically what's wrong the pathologies the venomous the poison of a woman we try to extract as much value and tangible value from our interactions with women as possible and that's why i include skill sets uh and the list of descriptions for my breakdown for the octane series okay so the skill sets observ observable in the 100 octane high society lifestyle navigation again that could be its own podcast and i'll defer to uh the style godfather kevin samuels to go further into uh, depth uh about that explanation their social iq savviness so in order to move around in those spaces you have to have a level of awareness you have to be aware of your surroundings because a high level operative a master of the universe um, uh, a select man who's moving at those levels will not tolerate a woman who is not demure will not tolerate a woman who does not have a uh, subdued presence because most likely he's got you in a space with other movers and shakers and other masters of the universe and their uh, expectations of him is that his associations will speak to who he is. So a woman having um, social IQ savvy savviness really is a key skill set to have, especially um, uh, de depending on the spaces that she navigates. Again, her presence is a skill set. Not only her ability to uh, speak, but her ability to not speak. That's that's a key element um, to successfully navigating high-end social spaces. Finally, uh, well, also we have that the the 100 octane um, has as a part of her skill set a mouthpiece. So, <clears throat> like I said. At a young age, they are exposed to certain elements uh, of society. And so they have to learn growing up, basically, in these spaces, when to speak and how to speak, and also the language of uh, upper crust, uh, you know, upper middle class, high class, the 1%, the, the zero point you know zero 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 one percent there's a certain language and a certain way to um, carefully curate your words and what you say and what you don't say means the difference between 
having access to that lifestyle and not having access to that lifestyle. Uh, lastly, I think one of the most important skill sets uh, for the 100 octane is their adaptability. And that adaptability allows them to be in the presence of pretty much whomever they'd like to be in the presence of. And without going too far into that, I want to cover first what the 100 octane values, because that speaks to um, what they choose or who they choose to uh, be around and what spaces they're most comfortable with existing in. So finally, what she values, this is uh, referring to the 100 octane. 100 octane values first class. She values limitless credit cards, okay? So basically, uh, almost seamless access to navigate through uh, various spaces, various airports, various hotels, various uh, arenas. That's one of the most uh, important things that a, a 100 octane values. Finally, she values a real man's man, aka a masculine master. And this is partially why the 100 octane is one of my favorites, not necessarily my favorite octane grade, but one of my favorites because it takes a certain man to bring out the honest aspect in any woman. But as I, as I said in the diesel breakdown, one of the most important uh, aspects of the 100 octane is their honesty. But that honesty really only comes out around certain men because they know that the majority of men, including high-end men or rich men or you know trust fund babies, tend to be ego-driven. And despite all of the bravado of a lot of men, women who are who, who move in those spaces see the ugly side of men who have uh, big egos. And the fact is, a man who has an overdeveloped ego that's not balanced tends to have a fragile ego. And so the littlest things can can crack uh, or expose a crack in, in, in a man who's uh, not well-developed, his ego. And that's when they go into rage. That's when they go, uh, you know, trying to burn people's lives up or, uh, you know, uh, go into their abusive mode because they've not fully developed themselves. They've, they've allowed their money to insulate them. They've allowed that lifestyle to be who they are. Basically, they've allowed, uh, in the words of the field master Ron Will, they've allowed that mask to become that face instead of going in and doing the work and developing who they really are. That's why a 100 octane values a real man's man, a, a, a man who is honest, a man who has secured his masculinity, who is capable of um, expressing himself without the fear of having his ego shattered, okay? A woman like this knows where the built-in umbrella is inside of a Rolls Royce and how to DC Adamame at a dinner party without ruining her lipstick. I say those things to say that the 100 octane uh, has so many elements that, yeah, you can say that they're a pass around. Yes, absolutely. You can say that uh, a lot of rich men or well-off men or status men pass, uh, pass 100 octanes around. But what's interesting is a lot of them don't sleep with a lot of men in those high spaces because a lot of men, quiet as kept, don't sleep with women. They sleep with other men and they have other, you know, uh, kinks or fetishes about them. And uh, the 100 octane woman is used as a beard. That's called that. That's basically a, a cloak or a cover so that these high post men can navigate those spaces and make those deals and 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 definitely trade the um, presence and the value of a, a highly attractive woman's presence uh, in the space of negotiation for something of value that they're looking 
to attain. And so what happens is that leaves a 100 octane um, exposed to loneliness. It'll leave a 100 octane exposed to being unfulfilled. And again, that goes back to why they value real men, why they value masculine masters. While you'll see them around basketball players and football players, and um, in the case of Jasmine Kendrick, you'll see her associated with a Joe Button, okay? You'll see her associated with a, a former famous European uh, soccer player, right? Now, the other side of that, and this is the side that I'm really going to get into on the Patreon side, is 100 octane sex. And the it's filled with paradoxes. It's filled with ironic twists and turns, right? You'd imagine that sex with a 100 octane would be the best thing, the most mind-blowing situation ever. But what I'm going to cover over on the Patreon side uh, will be some eye-opening aspects to what their real um, primal mentality entails and how select men and pre-select men if they want to explore the space of a 100 octane can do to work in their favor but as always this is your man cousin t aka the alpha wingman saying until next time when we talk about the 92 octane stay sharp and mission focused later